presentation on the accidents. All right. All right. So a bit of history on accidents. So we have these two dudes, um, H.W. Heinrich, Henry William Heinrich, I think, and then it's Frank Ebert. So these two people are uh, notable people in the um, safety arena. Um, Heinrich, in 1931, he came up with the accident pyramid or accident triangle. Um, so what he did was he studied a lot of accidents um, that has occurred in North America. And then out of uh, his studies, he found out that um, the incidents or the near misses are related to the minor injuries and it's also and it is related to the major injuries and he found out that out of 300 incidents or near misses there will be 29 minor injury and out of that there will be one major injury so one major injury is to 29 minor injury is to 300 incidents or near misses and so therefore, um, they proposed, I mean, he proposed that um, if the number of incidents on near miss is reduced, so that means you can make the pyramid smaller and reduce this number of minor incident and maybe reduce the number of major injury. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, it's, uh, sometimes it, it does make sense, but sometimes it's not really um, true. And then um, in 1969, Frank Ebert, another person who was also interested in uh, Heinrich Pyramid, he did a study himself also. And uh, he, so he's a professor at one university. And then he made another finding and he found out that uh, uh, one major accident uh, will occur out of 10 minor accidents. And then the 10 minor accident uh, occurs from 30 property damage or ac pro property damage accidents. And out of the 30, uh, from the, thir the 30 property damage accidents is actually from, uh, uh, is related to 600 near misses. So this is his own triangle. So he came up with this about 30, 40 years after Heinrich. Okay. All right, so H.W. Heinrich, he discusses theory that the accident ratio of this uh, 1 to 29 to 300, this was first discussed in this book, in 1931 book, Industrial Accident Prevention. So this is his classic safety permit. It is considered the foremost illustration of types of employee injuries. And in 1969, a study was, uh, was uh, conducted by Frank Ebert Jr., who was then the director of engineering services for the insurance company of North America. So he wanted to determine what the reporting, uh, actual reporting relationship of accident was to the entire average population of workers. So he studied over a million accidents that have been reported by 297 cooperating companies. So these companies represent 21 different industrial groups and the, in the different industrial groups employ close to 2 million employees who worked over 3 billion hours during the exposure period that was analyzed. And then the, from the study, he uh, observed that um, the ratio uh, is 1 to 10, to 30, to 600. 